Hello guys and welcome to Trey's Tainment. In today's video, this is not good news for Kamala Harris, but at the same time, this has been something that they've been seeing for quite some time. They just really haven't said anything on it. But check this video out. Uh, before we let you go, I want to get your thoughts on this. This is fascinating. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin warning Kamala Harris is underwater in Michigan polls. She warns, quote, I'm not feeling my best right now about where we are on Kamala Harris in a place like Michigan. We have her underwater in our polling. Um, you are from Michigan. What is your internal informal polling telling you when you talk to friends and when you talk to family about the state of play in Michigan? Well, I'm surprised that she's just now admitting this because I've been saying this for weeks that Kamala Harris is not going to win Michigan at this point in the race. And the alarm bells really should have been ringing back several weeks ago when the Teamsters released their non-endorsement. And they did so because if you looked at the state-by-state -state breakdown, it's more than 60% of Michigan Teamsters union members said that they backed Trump over Kamala Harris. Listen, you do not win the state of Michigan when you are this underwater with white working class men. And that is the demographic that she is struggling with the most. And apparently the white dudes for Kamala events just aren't cutting it. No offense, Todd, I know you were looking forward to wearing that shirt at the golf course this weekend, but it's not gonna work. It's not, and, and if she loses Michigan, she's also going to lose Pennsylvania. She's also going to lose Wisconsin. So this is a massive problem for her campaign. So guys, as you can see, if that happens, you guys will already know what will be closer to the outcome that a lot of people are expecting. Because we got to get back to where we used to be. People are making a decision based on the economy. They've been seeing what's been going on for quite some time. And I do not blame them at all. I do not blame them. Look at the economy. They're struggling. People are struggling every day i see it on a daily basis i wish we can go back to the time where we were able to save more money put more money back in our pockets interest rates were low prices were low those were the best times ever but let me know what you guys think about today's video in the comment section and did you guys expect this at all let me know in the comment section that'll be a wrap for today's video and i'll catch you on the next one take care